Okay, exponents are using exponent rules to evaluate expressions. Um, before we get into those problems, we have to understand the properties of the exponents. So, the one that we just did in the previous lesson, or at least should have done in the previous lesson, is the a to the negative n is equal to 1 over a to the nth power, or you could have it also as 1 over a to the nth. Okay, that's one of the properties. Another one of the properties that you're going to be using in this lesson is a to the n times a to the m is equal to a to the n plus m. Let me explain it. So we have 3 to the second power times 3 to the fourth power. That is equal to 3 to the 2 plus 4, which is 3 to the 6. Think about it. 3 squared is 3 times 3, and we're going to multiply that by 3 to the 4. That gives me a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's why it is 3 to the 6. Okay. The other property that we're going to do is a to or a to the n divided by a to the m that is equal to a to the n minus m okay so let's think about this one this is 2 to the third power um, let's actually go higher number than that 2 to the eighth power divided by 2 to the third power. That is equal to 2 to the 8 minus 3, which is 2 to the fifth. Now let me explain that a little further as well. 2 to the eighth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that is going to be over 2 times 2 times 2 to the third. These cancel, for those people that remember how to cancel. And what is left is 5 of them, which is 2 to the fifth. Just showing it in a couple different ways. Another one is a power to a power. And that is a to the n to the m power. That is equal to a to the n times m. So that, an example of that one would be uh, 2 to the third. Um, I want to do this so I can do it in my head. And then that would be to the second power. That is going to be equal to 2 to the 3 times 2, which is equal to 2 to the 6. This is the part I didn't want to be too crazy with. Um, the 2 to the 3rd, 2 to the 3rd, to the 2nd power is saying that I have 2 to the 3rd times 2 to the 3rd. That is where we get 2 to the 2nd power from that because I have 1, 2 of those, hence 2nd power. 2 to the third is equal to um, 2 times 2 times 2. And the other one is 2 times 2 times 2. And that gives me 2 to the sixth. So um, in all of these, I gave you the definition, gave you an example using the definition, and then I gave you an example of how the definition works. Okay? So now let's go into the problems that we have to do. This one, the bases are the same. Because the bases are the same, I'm going to add exponents. So that's 4 to the 5th plus a negative 11. I'm adding exponents because I'm multiplying. Bases are the same. So that is going to be 4 to the negative 6. And that is your answer. Khan Academy, you'll put in the 4 
you do the shift 6 so you get the caret and then minus 6 and it should show up as 4 to the negative 6 as you type that in. Here's another one I am dividing remember when dividing I subtract so 6 to the 8 minus 10 and that will equal 6 to the negative 2 done. Go on to the next one. This one is a power to a power. So I have 9 to the negative 12 times negative 7. 7 times 12 is 84. So this is equal to 9 to the 84th power. Next, here the bases are the same. I'm multiplying, so I add exponents. 6 to the 5 plus the 10th. And that is going to be 6 to the 15th. Once you figure out these properties and how to use them, it actually goes pretty quick and is pretty easy. Here again, I'm multiplying. Bases are the same, so I add exponents. 5, negative 10, and then I add the 3, and that is going to be 5 to the negative 7th power. Here we have a power to a power. When you're looking at this, I, can, I, I can't multiply the 5 and the 4 because the exponents are different. And I can't um, write it as 5 to the 15th or 4 to the 15th. So it's a power to a power. I am thinking of this problem as 5 to the 6th to the 12th times 4 to the 9th to the 12th power. That's what I'm thinking of in this problem. And that is why it is 5 to the 6 times 12 times 4 to the 9 times 12. That's going to give me 5 to the 72nd times 4 to the 108. So those will be your answer. Or that This will be my answer that's what you'll put into Khan Academy. All right, that's it. Good luck.